all have fats. Yes, we need fats. Fats are an essential part of a healthy diet. It is a major source of energy, a critical component of cells and tissues, and helps absorb vitamins. The main type of fats that you get from food is called triglycerides. Triglycerides consist of one glycerol unit and three fatty acid chains. It is a non-polar molecule or simply put hydrophobic, which means that it definitely will not mix with water. So, how does lipid digestion occur? When we eat foods containing fat, an enzyme called lingual lipids is released in saliva in the mouth. Next, the fat molecules will travel down with the saliva and lingual lipase enzymes to enter the stomach. The highly acidic environment of the stomach activates the lingual lipase enzyme and then join with gastric lipase. The enzymes will then break down the fat molecules into diglycerides. However, only around 30% of the three glycerides are broken down in the stomach. Next, the fat molecules enter the small intestine from the stomach. Since the fat molecules are hydrophobic, they enter the small intestine in large lipid masses, basically a large fat. The large fat must be broken down into smaller molecules through the process of emulsification. Fats can only travel through the watery environment of the body by the process of emulsion. This can be done with the help of bile salts and phospholipid which were released from the gale blader. Bile salt and phospholipid have a hydrophilic and hydrophobic region. The hydrophobic region of the bile salt and phospholipid will attach themselves on the hydrophobic large fat molecule to form emulsion droplets. Pancreas will also release an enzyme called pancreatic lipase to add greater access to the fat so it can be broken down into monoglyceride and free fatty acid. Bile salt envelop the fatty acid and monoglyceride to form micelle. Micelle have a hydrophobic interior with a hydrophilic exterior. This allows efficient transportation to the membrane of the enterocyte cell of the small intestine. Here, the fat components are released and disseminate into the cell of the digestive tract lining. Once inside the enterocyte cells, the fatty acids are attached with the monoglycerides to reform triglycerides. The triglycerides, cholesterol, phospholipid, and protein are wrapped together to form lipoprotein called the chylomicron. On the other sides of the enterocyte cells, the chylomicrons are too large to enter blood capillary walls, so instead, they enter the lymph capillary known as lacteal. Then, the chylomicrons are transported through lymphatic vessels and eventually enters bloodstream where it will be transported to the liver, adipose tissue for storage, and muscle tissue for energy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how fats are digested in your body. Thank you all for watching.